Top 10 fam, welcome back. My name is Rachel Fisher, and before we get started with today's video, my good friend Dewey and I are super excited to announce Bumblebee, a new channel. It's gonna have a ton of weird stuff, including plenty of surprises in the future, so make sure to subscribe to be the first to catch our launch. Now on to today's video. From rivers of blood to uh, ice fingers of death, join us as we review some of our top 10 weirdest natural phenomenons you've never heard of. So let's get started. Before time to waste it. Number 10, a brinicle. A brinicle? What? Not a barnacle. AKA the ice finger of death that I just mentioned. Sounds scarier than it actually is, but it's definitely as cold. Mostly found in you guessed it, icy regions. These crazy ice fingers happen when rapidly sinking icy salty water hits the ocean floor. This brine is colder than the water it's passing through and as a result it forms ice crystals slow enough for the human eye to see. But when it hits the bottom, it fans out, claiming the lives of any nearby slow moving crustaceans or starfish. Humans don't really need to fear them, especially because divers don't often dive in water that cold. However, special divers who study them have to be careful and take precautions to prevent hypothermia. But still, really cool, eh? Number nine, the door to hell. Many superstitions surround the door to hell and you can guess why, because of the name it's being given. Duh. This place is so mysterious, people even think this might be one of the doors to hell. Why? Because this pit has been burning over 40 years. In 1971, scientists discovered the area while attempting to drill for oil on the site. While drilling, they accidentally hit a gas pocket and the whole thing collapsed into a crater. Scientists were nervous that poisonous gases might be released into the air, so they set it on fire to burn off the gas. Of course, expecting it to stop eventually, but it hasn't yet and you can even visit should you wish to test the theory that the devil is waiting for you, you naughty thing. Number 8, Blood Falls. The name Blood Falls is a name that pretty much describes exactly what someone said when they first saw it. Oh look! A waterfall of blood, because that's exactly what it looks like. Located in Antarctica, this natural phenomenon terrifies onlookers as bright red water flows against the stark white of the snow. But the actual reason behind this phenomenon is far less gruesome than initially suspected. Anyways, nobody got murdered, that's the thing. Beneath the Taylor Glacier, a super salty body of water was trapped around 2 million years ago, entirely cut off from oxygen, heat, and light. When a fissure appeared, this lonely water pocket slowly leaks out and reacts with the oxygen in the air and the result is this fantastic hue of red trickling down. Crazy, right? Number 7, Fairy Circles. Should you ever get the privilege of enjoying Namibian safaris, you will not only get to witness the oldest desert in the world, but wild horses, wildebeest, and dick dick for example. But one of the most mysterious sights are the fairy circles. Across the desert landscapes, there are strange baffling barren circles surrounded by patches of vegetation, each around 10 to 65 feet in diameter. They span for hundreds of miles and local legend says that they were created by the footprints of gods. And for a while that was the only explanation. Scientists were stumped when it came to this phenomenon, though through decades of research they have discerned that the circles form due to termites and self-organizing plants. But if you prefer to think that fairies or gods form them, I think that's still pretty, pretty cool. So, up to you. Number six, the red crab migration. Perhaps even stranger than an island named Christmas is the red crab migration that happens there. Around October and November of every year, these bright red crustaceans swarm and crawl all the way to the seaside to prepare to breed. They absolutely cover the island floor like a bright red Crusty the Crab Flood. The reason they migrate is specifically timed to the lunar cycles because by the time they reach the beach, the tide is low enough for them to bury their eggs so that when it rises again, they can hatch and just go right into the water. So if you plan on spending some time on Christmas Island just to see if you'll meet Santa, make sure you've got some iron toed shoes. Don't want to accidentally get pinched by one of these guys, that would suck. Number five, Lake Natron. 
Introducing the deadliest lake in Tanzania, Lake Natron. Many people visit Tanzania for its beauty and to witness the might that is Mount Kilimanjaro, but very few wish to encounter this lake. Though it's pretty cool to look at, its magnificent orangey red color is essentially a warning flag. This place is so poisonous. Keep out. Due to a caustic mixture of minerals and salt, this lake could burn your skin off. Except for flamingos love this place. It's where they raise their young. Mostly because predators won't go near it. But they have to be careful, for if it rains too much, the water can raise the alkalinity level of the lake so high that it could even kill them. Only one kind of fish, the alkaline tilapia, lives in the water amongst hosts of salt obsessed microorganisms. Cool. It's number four, bioluminescence. This is probably one of my favorites because I just think it's so magical. From bioluminescent glowworms in New Zealand to biobays in places like Puerto Rico, these magical little creatures add yet another reason as to why nature is so beautiful. Personally, visiting at least one of these sites is on my bucket list. Bioluminescence is a kind of glow in the dark effect that has a breathtaking result. For instance, dino flagellates in Puerto Rico give off a neon blue green color, creating a stardust appearance while you watch. On the beach. The reason it happens is all due to a chemical reaction that happens inside their cells. When two different molecules come in contact with oxygen, it produces light. Animals control when this happens by controlling the movement of the oxygen in their cells. And some even have a symbiotic relationship with creatures that can't do this. They get safety and they get to be their host's own personal flashlight. Sweet deal. Number three, lightning strikes more than once. Well, at least it does happen in Venezuela. One of the most fantastic lightning storms in the world is near Lake Maracaibo in Venezuela. Besides being absolutely massive, measuring 5,100 square miles, come rainy season, you're in for quite a show. Around October, this lake absorbs around 28 lightning bolts per minute, amounting to a staggering 250 bolts per square kilometer per year. There are a couple of theories as to why this happens, but scientists still haven't been able to confirm any concrete reason for it. In the 1960s, scientists put forth that it might be due to high amounts of uranium or that methane released from oil fields caused it, but there still remains insufficient proof. So my theory, Thor likes to go swimming in the rain. Why not? Before we go on guys, make sure to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and head over to Bumblebee as well and give that some love too. Number two, the sailing stones. They may not move fast, but when they do, it confuses the heck out of people. Unless they're called the Rolling Stones. They've been touring forever. They're probably gonna keep moving until they die. This phenomenon is located in California and these rocks seem to be anything but dead. In the middle of the desert, there are stones that have massive trails behind them, though they can't be moving due to any gravitational force. They vary in size from a couple to hundreds of pounds. It took a while for scientists to figure out just how this was happening and the answer will still make your brows furrow. Through an experiment using a freezer and some Tupperware, they may have the answer. With the right combination of ice, water, and wind, the rock can be lifted by the melted water and moved, leaving the trail in its wake. Still sounds pretty crazy, but hey, nature is pretty wild. And last but not least, will of the wisps. Will of the wisps are so interesting, and I can imagine the first person to ever see them must have thought it was magic, because of course, which in a way, science kind of is magic. After all, just because something has a logical reason doesn't make it any less magical. Will of the wisps are tiny balls of light that appear above swamps and bogs. Of course, they have been the subject of fairy folklore for hundreds of years due to their mysterious appearances. There are a couple of theories. One, that they could be white owls reflecting light off the surface of the water to fireflies, to fairies, but the leading theory is that they are actually balls of methane gas. Methane is a common element in swamps or marshy areas due to the amount of decomposition happening beneath the water surface. As the methane rises to the surface, it reacts with phosphine, another gas found in these areas, creating the blue light. There is still a fair amount of skepticism surrounding this story, so if you do want to believe that they are in fact fairies, Go for it. And that was our list. Let us know in the comments if you have ever had the privilege of seeing one of these incredible things or if you think we missed anything. As always, show us some love by liking and subscribing and hopefully I'll see you over at Bumblebee. I've been your host, Rachel Fisher, and until next time, guys, take care. These crazy ice fingers happen when rapidly sinking icy... These crazy... Oh, can you scroll down again? Sorry. Than initially suspected. Like, nobody got murdered. No polar bears just tore into... I don't even think polar bears are in Antarctica. Cut that, don't put that in. Should you get the privilege of enjoying Nem. 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 Nem.
<laughs> Nam Ibian. Nam Ibian. I just don't have teeth. I don't feel my teeth. <laughs> oh, there's bloopers galore today. It's a Wednesday. Should you ever get the. <laughs> I can't. 